Hi, Hi9 News. This is Dr. Pranati Gutta, Pediatric Neurologist from Butterflies Child Development Center. Today we are going to talk about what causes cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a lifelong condition caused by one-time insult to the growing brain. Now the brain, this insult can happen anywhere from conception to up to two to three years. The usual causes can be divided into three particular parts of the uh, stages of the development of the child. The first one is antenatal period or the period when the child is in mommy's tummy. The re main reasons for uh, cerebral palsy at this time is mommy having high BP, uncontrolled diabetes, any infections, particularly torch infections, chicken pox in the first three months of uh, conception, bleeding into the brain or clotting into the brain or any other uh, conditions wherein mother had to use medications and some of the medications can cause the uh, effects on the baby's brain. Second uh, area of development would be around the time of birth. The child can uh, have lack of oxygen to the brain and thereby the child has a delayed uh, cry at birth. Also early deliveries like prematurity can also cause uh, cerebral palsy. Also twin pregnancy is an independent risk factor for cerebral palsy or death of one of the twins in the tummy can also cause cerebral palsy. The other area is a postnatal period or after the first after the child is born here infections can be a common cause and as we discussed lack of oxygen to the brain at any time during this time and traumatic brain injury or brain injury to the child either due to a road traffic accident or a direct impact injury to the brain can cause cerebral palsy lack of sugar sometimes children having low birth weight or infants of uh, diabetic moms are very susceptible to having low sugars and sugar is very important at this stage of the baby so if the sugar is low it can cause brain damage and this damage can be permanent so it's very important that all children who are at risk be fed regularly in the first 24 to 48 hours and the sugars be monitored in children who are at high risk because this is a very important and preventable cause of uh, brain injury.